Hey everyone, Dan here again, and this is the second episode of DevTube. Yeah, I just got a name for my show. It's gonna be called DevTube, so it's yeah, pretty much the same. I took the name from YouTube, and it's called DevTube. Yeah, for developers. Now this episode, I'm gonna talk about rendering a model in XNA. So it's not as hard as you might think. So we're gonna start by creating a simple model in Blender. Blender is a free tool for 3D modeling and it, it's available for download online. So it's, an, it's actually an awesome tool. So I'm just gonna start it. And I'm gonna create a very, very basic model. I'm just gonna create a sphere. I'm gonna create add mesh UV sphere. All right, we're gonna enlarge it like this, and I'm just gonna export it as an FBX file. It's an Autodesk FBX. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the default settings. I'm just gonna go to my Dennis folder documents. No, it's gonna be just documents, and it's untitled FBX. Yeah, just I'll just call it. My sphere. FBX. I export it. Alright, all set. We're done with Blender. Of course, you can work on more complex models, but uh, just the focus on this video is just to show you how to render one rather than show you how to model something. So, I'm gonna fire up Visual Studio. I'm gonna create a XNA project. It's gonna be a Windows game. It's gonna call it Model Test. Okay, we're all set. Now, first of all, I'm gonna create a instance of modal. Uh, okay, it's gonna be a top of the class modal. It's gonna be sphere. Now, this instantiates the modal, but there's nothing to show. So first of all, I'm gonna add the modal to our content. So I'm just gonna add an existing item Go to documents. Pick my sphere. And add it. Okay, now it's right there we can see. Now we need to load the actual content in the sphere. So I'm gonna go here and say sphere equals content dot load. It's in modal. And it's my sphere. All good here. Now we need to draw the sphere. To do this, I'm gonna create a separate method or function, yeah, uh, which will not return any value. It will just draw it. Let's just say it's it's gonna be just draw sphere. Now I'm gonna iterate through each mesh first. What is a mesh? A mesh is a uh, object, a geometrical object that defines the shape of a larger 3D model. So it's basically the component part of a 3D model that shapes it. So I'm, I'm gonna create a for each loop, for each model mesh. I'm gonna call it mesh and our sphere dot meshes I'll go by here. Now, through each mesh, I'm gonna iterate with a basic effect. So I'm just gonna create an up for each loop, and it's gonna be a basic effect. Effect. Okay, and in uh, mesh dot effects. I'll go by here. Now. Uh, before we go any further with this, I need to set up a camera. A camera that will look at the object, at the sphere. So I'm going to leave this function uh, for a little while. I'm just going to create a new one. It's called set camera. And for this, I will need two mattresses.
is going to be the view matrix and a matrix or projection matrix. All right, I'll go by here. Now, in a set camera function, I'm going to say view matrix equals matrix dot create look at a new vector 3 is a position it's gonna be uh, and right here we can either hard code the values or set up ver variables to get the values from I'm just gonna set the variables and say there is a float px equals 30f is the x position float py equals 0 f and float oh float c equals 30f so we're going to use them right here it's going to be px py p z all good now the camera target is going to be the origin of the axis so new vector 3 it's going to be 0, 0, 0. And camera up vector is going to be a new vector 3. It's going to be 0, 1, 0. Okay. Now, the next matter is going to be the projection matrix. Equals. It's going to be matrix dot create perspective field of view it's going to look at a uh, 45 degree angle so I'm just going to say math helper dot pi over 4 the aspect ratio is going to be the the aspect ratio yeah it's going to be my graphics dot graphics device dot viewport dot aspect ratio the float near plane distance is going to be 0.1f. That's how close the object will be drawn. And the far plane distance is going to be 100f. All set. Now, here we're back at the effect. So I'm just going to say effect dot enable default lighting. Now, effect dot view. So we set up the view for it equals view matrix. In fact, uh, uh, projection equals projection matrix. In fact, dot world equals matrix dot identity. And now um, I'm just gonna draw the mesh. So I'm just saying mesh. I'll draw over here and now in the draw function I'm just gonna call draw sphere now let's see what happens when we run the game there's nothing happen now this is logical because we did not load the camera so I'm just gonna go here at the load content and say set camera now let's run and there it is our sphere now since I keep the position of the camera as a variable you can easily change it in the update function to rotate the camera around the object and to actually move it uh, back and forth to the object so now you know how to render a simple object next to an a and this is it for today thanks for watching everyone and you can find me at dennis code on twitter and dennisdell.com that's my website thanks again